Hello friends, in this video we will discuss a beautiful example of error which came in IITG 2015. In this problem, the formula of time period is given and then you are given values of length and error in length and also you are given time and error in time. Resolution means the error in time or uncertainty in time. So, here you have to find accuracy in the determination of G. That means you have to find uncertainty or error in the value of G. Answers here are given in percentage. So, that means you have to find percentage accuracy or percentage error in G. So, step 1, we will rearrange this formula of time period to find G. So, formula here is given. We have to remove this square root. So, we take square of whole equation. Left side is square, right side is square too. That will remove square root. Now, we take this g to here and t square to here. It will become g equals 4 pi square l over t square. So, we got the equation of g here. So, now we need to use error formula for g. So, for that let's uh, write the values of length l equals value of l is value plus minus error so value is given 20 centimeter for length plus minus accuracy here is 1 mm 1 mm you need to convert 1 mm into centimeters so that will give you 0 0.1 centimeter you know value and accuracy both should be in same units if value is given in centimeter the error also should be in centimeter time is given 90 seconds plus minus and accuracy or resolution given is 1 second. So now we will use the formula of earth entity that says delta g over g equals 4 pi square is a constant value so it has no error and for l we will write it delta l over l plus 40 delta t over t. t has power of 2 so it would be multiplied by 2 here. We have to find percentage accuracy in the determination of g. So, we will multiply the whole equation by 100. This would also go to 100 and then 100. So, it will be, this is error in length or accuracy in length that is 0 0.1 centimeter divided by 20 centimeter value of length plus 2 times delta t here accuracy in time 1 second divided by value of time that is 90 times 100. So, percentage of g will give us 0 0.5 plus 2.2. So, it gave us 2.7. So, we can say the round of value would be 3%. We can write 2.7 as 3. Second choice is the correct 3%. I hope you understand this example. If you have any question about this example or any other physics topic, please ask your question in the comment box given below. Thank you.